this episode of a mobile home makeover we install a washer dryer and some curtains then take a break time to grab one of these and see whether we can propagate it you've probably heard me say this already but one of my mottos when doing work like this is if not me who and if not now when and uh when i wrote down vent cut later I knew it was going to be me, and I guess this is when. We're at the local transfer facility and realizing while they do take leaf debris, they don't take boxes, so we're going to be bringing those to the dump. Whoever has dug their way in that first time, dug their way in again. Actually, I'm going to say that that looks like they dug their way out because there's no dirt pile here and there's probably one inside. Hmm, who's under the house besides Bill? I don't know if I'm trapping them in or out or what I'm doing precisely. Well, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, our last day here. I should probably be packing up the car, but instead I'm about to embark upon an ambitious new project, which is putting in a washer and dryer. Of course, step one is I need to install baseboards here. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how far we get on this. Progress is being made. I can't say that corner came out the smoothest, but you know, it's my first shot. It also will be hidden behind the dryer forever and ever. That one looks a little better, and there my baseboard career ends for the day uh, because it's time to figure out washer dryers. Next, we need to get the washer and dryer out of the garage and into the house, and to do that in the local spirit of DIY, we built a ramp. I am praying this is relatively straightforward. Uh, they kind of gave us a bunch of stuff at the dish at the store. They gave us uh, this Y. So we've got a hot that needs to go to the washer and a hot that needs to go to the dryer for steam. And I connected that to my old hose. I think all that should be fine. Then this is the cold. I need to connect the hot and the cold here and plug it in. That's basically it. And this is the drain. Deb already put some of these skid things on the bottom. Nothing too complicated, right babe? No. What do you think babe? It's nice to have a washer and dryer. Well, just washer so far. Yeah, well. It's time to learn out how to uh, wire a dryer up. Wiring the uh, 
thing is basically pretty straightforward except for one thing. This wire here, which came connected to the ground, I need to move over here to the middle. So I gotta move this guy to there and then add this guy to it. Other than that, I'm just gonna uh, follow the PDF manual online. The manual didn't seem to give any information about whether the black or the red should be there or there, so I just went with what they did online, which was the black there and the red there. Oh, this is hooked up. That's uh, that's not the best job right there, I think. Okay, dealt with that with the replacement screw. Now it's good to get plugged in. One last trip to the hardware store for now. And take take two. Sticking a little bit up there. Let's see what if I do what Tommy says, which is open it all the way, and then oh no, that's not good. Well, this is like into Plumber City, and now we have an actual water leak. Well, this is less than ideal sounding. I've got that as, about as tight as I can do it. Like so many things, we're not quite there. We're just going to turn this one off again. Conducting a little bit of a test here. We only have the cold water hooked up so far, but... morning together bud but I'm just gonna take care of you I have to say, this mobile home is nothing I expected and everything I hoped for. She has a ship to carry you through the night. She's warm and cozy. She's a western, ramshackle, and uh, she's looking a lot better now. One last project before we take a break, which is putting up some curtain rods. So it turns out that what I thought was Act 3 was actually the second half of Act 2, and Act 3 is yet to come. I have truly gained an appreciation for the humble mobile home and the metal roof and the power of water to uh, destroy your house and also just <laughs> freak you out as a homeowner. Uh, having water where it's not supposed to be is like a big, old, scary thing. <laughs> Thank you.
But how, there's also a T. How come the T made it into, uh, onto the fridge, but the S-H-E is getting put away, babe? Thomas. It's a little vacuum hanger, but it's looking pretty good. Loading out a few things are staying for the next time, but a lot of things are going. Emmy, we're packing up and headed home, back to your regular bed. Wallace, you ready? Behind the scenes. There's our little wind catcher corner. Another last minute touch. As much as we love Bill and we are going to miss him and hope he does well under Kim's occasional check-ins, um, we are also well aware of the phenomenon of cat revenge pooping. So <laughs> it's time to spread out some of these rocks. Beat the shit, but it's, it's the but shit the light color love. is fun. It's the perfect it's the perfect color for in here, especially with these cream carpets and the white to be continued you okay, can stay plugged in it's fine Deb's got a pine cone collection. Oh, did we ever put that seed out for that one weed that we collected yesterday? The brown one? Yeah. yeah. I put it... Oh, the seed, yeah, I put it over there. Oh, cool. I don't know if it's going to do anything. I don't either. And then that little brown grass is right there. All right. Bye, Bo bye mobile home. See you uh, when we're back for baseboards. It's not looking too bad. Totally other dresses, which is I'll wear. It, oh, for well, I just and uh, and your animals and and thanks for taking care of you know thanks for checking in with Bill and stuff. Again. Back in the city. Thanks for watching. We'll be back to uh, finish the baseboards and a couple other finishing details in uh, a few weeks. In the meantime, um, and I hope uh, if you're doing your own mobile home project that it goes well and that you remember if you don't get it right the first time, just go back and do it again.